In this video, we'll go over replacing the PC portion of a Logic Supply HMI in the field. Starting with the six screws on the back of the display. Undo all six screws. Careful not to let the PC fall as your HMI will be mounted in a cabinet. There's no need to take the screen out of the cabinet. This can be replaced while still mounted in the door. Once the screws are removed, careful not to let the PC fall again, you'll slide it downward and then lift straight off. You'll notice the display connection. Next, we need to remove the secondary drive from the old PC and install it in the new PC. The door shown, remove the two screws, lift up and then pull out. There are three screws holding the hard drive tray. You need to remove all three screws very carefully. A magnetic tip is preferred or some type of magnet in order to get the screws out. If they fall inside, carefully remove them. You'll want to slide the tray to the right carefully and lift up on the right side. Remove the tray and set it aside for now. Careful not to lose the, the screws. Once you have the new PC, I'm going to remove the same door off of the new PC. You'll grab your drive with the tray. We're going to insert it into the new PC. Carefully laying it in and then sliding it left into place. See all the screw holes line up. And now you'll carefully put the screws back into the tray and tighten down. Again, this is where a magnetic tip or magnet will definitely come in handy. Replace the drive tray cover. Carefully place the PC back on the rear of the screen. 
note where the video connection protrudes into the PC. Once you have it flat, press up, slide up. and reinsert your screws into the back of the screen.